Recently I was watching this uh, video on calculating integrals. and It was very good, but all I could think of was how I hate Greek. So I thought it might be fun to try and do something similar with a programming language. Using Visual Basic makes it easy for you to uh, try it out for yourself in Word. Just copy the sample code out of the companion document. Open Word. Press F11 to open the Visual Basic editor. Double click this document. Paste in the code and click run to see your answer. If you try following along with the changes in this video, you can click run at any time to see that it still works. Probably have to press stop and start a lot. Okay, let's get started. First let's get rid of some of these extra variables. I want to make a one long equation so it makes it easier to use some algebraic manipulation. See the green text? Those are uh, Visual Basic comments. After this, our first goal will be to get everything out of the loop except for the i. That way we can replace it with uh, our little formula. You'll see that later. Okay, see that a plus i blah blah blah? That should really be in parentheses. You'll see that get cleaned up after the transition. Okay, there we go. So the first thing we want to do is get that plus sign out of the parentheses. So we got to have a times b minus a divided by n. All right, so we're going to copy that part. I hope those comments underneath give you a better idea what the fractions look like. Okay, and that gives us our first chunk that we can pull out of the equation, the n times b minus a divided by n. That goes through the loop n times, so that's like multiplying it by n, which cancels out the divide by n. So we only have to copy this part. And we can still remove the divide by n from the formula. Okay, now we can do some simplifying because we have b minus a in there twice, and we have divide by n in there twice. See that? So now we can stick in b minus a squared, get rid of the other one. divide by n squared. Alright, that gives us our next chunk that we can pull out of the loop. But this one's different than last time. Last time we added in a chunk so uh, we could drop a divide by n. But this time we can't do that. It's multiplied in. We've got to keep the whole thing. And now look at our loop. All this has got is an I in it. So that's like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And we know the integer summation formula we can replace that with. We're more than halfway done now. A 
Okay, now that we've gotten rid of that loop, our code's going to run a lot faster. And we can make our n really big. But still, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to make our answer a lot better, but it's not going to be perfect. To do that, we're going to have to get rid of all these n's. And uh, hopefully we can get rid of most of them through elimination. But for the last n, we're going to need a little trick. So... Um, to start with, let's just do a little rearranging here. Okay, you see that n squared plus n? That's just the same as n times n plus 1. And it's going to make things a little easier for us, so let's stick that in there. Now we have an n on the top and an n on the bottom. And we can eliminate that one. And it's, it's, it's an n squared on the bottom, so go over there. So there we go, two ends gone. Okay, now we want to get rid of that plus in the uh, n plus one. So we're going to copy a big chunk of this. See that? So now we have the b minus a squared divided by 2 times n in there twice. Mm -hmm. uh, that's tough to follow. You might want to pause it right here so you can see just how I changed that. Alright, so that gives us another n on top and n on the bottom. We can get rid of those two now. That leaves us with just one n left. that n is on the bottom of a fraction. So as n gets larger, that fraction gets smaller. And in fact, as, as n approaches infinity, that part of the formula approaches zero. So we can just get rid of the whole thing. It's okay. We'll just get rid of it. There it is. All the ends are gone. That's the formula we want. Does it match what we were looking for? It's it's just the same, but it's rearranged a little differently. So I'm going to leave it to you to try and uh, you know figure out if it really is the same. Do a little algebra for yourself there. So that's the end of the video. I I hope you liked it. If you found it useful, please leave a comment. Thanks.